Welcome back. We're going to go ahead and go to my scoreboard again. We're going to go ahead and go to the miscellaneous 300. And it says, what is the specific camera model that took this picture? Let's go ahead and copy this. And it has a little thing that says, download me, exclamation point. So we're going to click on that. It's going to bring us to a JPEG. So we're going to go here, and it says it's a White House JPEG. Now, there are different tools that you could try and download on your browser. We're going to go ahead and use the XIF tool, E-X-I-F. Um, and they do have a couple of different add-on extensions, but I wasn't sure... The extensions only do certain things. They don't do everything. So I'd rather show you how to use the EXIF tool. I always want to call it the EXIT tool. Don't know why. I'm going to go ahead and save image as. And now I saved mine in my desktop already. So we're going to pretend to save. Well, I'm going to cancel. We're going to shrink this down. And now, for the EXIF tool, you're probably going to have to install it, which is super easy. You just do apt get install EXIF. And then you type in your password. Or if you're root, you don't have to sudo, of course. And as you can see, I already have mine in there. Now, Part of the tricky thing with Linux is um, sometimes it can be a little bit hard to find things. So sometimes you're going to want to use um, different commands. In this case, in order to find out where the EXIF tool was hiding, I went ahead and I used the locate command. And it's as simple as locate EXIF. Now, depending on how much stuff you have that has the XF thing, uh, it might pull up a whole bunch of stuff. And I am looking for the one way up here, and it says there's one in user bin EXIF. EXIF. So what I did was I went ahead and I just navigated to there, which would of course have been file system user bin. And I grabbed that little baby created a new neat little folder, named it EXIF tool, and stuck it in there. And then I went ahead and grabbed my JPEG, and I stuck the JPEG in here with it. Now, I like using the desktop because then I can find everything to quickly erase it later. Um, in your case, you'll probably want to put this neat little tool somewhere else where you can find it, like say in documents or pictures. The reason that I had to move it from the file system was whether it's because I'm not root or just because of the protections on my computer, I am not able to copy that JPEG into the um, user slash bin um, section. So rather than fool around with the stuff in the user slash bin section, I just copied the exif tool. I figured that would be a lot easier, a lot less heartache, and I wouldn't mess anything up and have to reinstall my Linux. So that's why I did it here. Feel free to do it in documents, in pictures, or you can leave it there and try to be able to get JPEGs and stuff to put in there. But then again, that's not a good idea anyway, because, well, what if you download something and it's malicious? you know, has malicious code in it. You never know. So just, you always want to try and err a little bit on the side of caution. But in this case, you know, Raven uploaded this. I know it's not malicious. And, um, so I went ahead and I just stuck it in here. Let me go ahead and clear this out. 
So now, of course, remember that you have to navigate to wherever your tool is. So you can either go ahead and open up Terminal here, or you can navigate to it. Doesn't really matter. I'm going to keep both of these windows open because let's go ahead and do an ls and of course there you see the tool and the jpeg there's our dash help so technically if you wanted to see the model number um, you might be able to find something over here that will show you the model number. Uh, I like to keep it simple. Again, this was a beginner CTF um, originally with all the original challenges. And so this is geared towards people who may not have used the tool and stuff before. So we're trying to keep it as simple as possible. So super easy. Again, make use of that little tab. And hey, look at that. It shows everything. And if you scroll on up, you'll see a model number. Now, technically, in some cases, like I said, there's extensions that you can use. Or you could go ahead and you might be able to, say, go to properties in the image it'll show you the camera model but then again sometimes this doesn't show you everything um, sometimes there's other things in a JPEG or something that this little tool will show you a little bit more detailed um, for example, if there's a user comment or something that did not appear when you went ahead and went to the image, but down here it would appear. Um, it could also be, just keep this tool in mind. It can be quite useful sometimes. And so obviously we got the camera model right here. And of course it's not gonna let it, let's see. Oh, it will let us copy it, wow. Didn't let me copy it last time. And so then we'll go ahead and go over here. We're going to paste. And it was correct, of course. So we're going to go ahead and move on to the next problem. Thanks, and see you in the next video.